hey guys welcome back to my channel so today as you guys can see i have a different type of video for you guys today i wanted to show you or expose to you the ugly side or dark side of being a youtuber i know a lot of smaller youtubers don't really talk about this if they do you know you know cool i haven't seen many videos on smaller youtubers doing this video so i definitely wanted to do that from my perspective of being a YouTuber and the amount of subs that I do, monetize, et cetera, et cetera. So I think I could actually talk about this and be as, you know, blunt and truthful as possible. So I just want you guys to know the real before you guys start a YouTube channel or you as a small YouTuber before you are monetized so you can know what's gonna be happening with you as your journey continues. Disclaimer, I am super grateful to have the amount of subs that I do, super grateful to be monetized and just, you know, growing every single day. Daily, I'm getting like, 10 subs, 20 subs, 30 subs. So I'm really still growing slowly, but steady. That's the main point. So I'm appreciative, I'm grateful, I'm thankful for everything I have um, throughout the YouTube journey, how hard I worked, the results are definitely showing. Act into it, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let me know the struggles you may have facing being a YouTuber, what may not be as glitzy and glam and just a downfall on your part of how YouTube is and things you might have not expected from being a YouTuber that's actually going on right now. Let's get into it. So I got a couple of topics here I'm gonna talk to you guys about. So the first one I'm gonna talk to you about is unloyal subs. So when I say unloyal subs, okay, so basically, and this happens to large YouTubers as well. I watch some YouTubers that have about, let's say, almost 400,000 subscribers. And some of their videos still only get 4,000 views. Their whole fan base is not watching their videos. And I'm not sure why that actually is. I'm not sure if they only come to that channel for certain videos and they branched out doing other things or whatever's going on. And then some other YouTubers, they cannot post for a whole month and a fan base will just come right back to them. It does not matter how long they've been gone. Their fan base has a, has a connection with them and they're always gonna be there. So that's the thing that you wanna build with your subscribers, become more personal with them and make sort of an attachment, like make them wanna know what's going on with your life, what's going on with you as a person. Be likable, basically show the real you, show your personality and a lot of people will gravitate towards you. But like I said, a lot of people are unloyal. Like they'll come to you only for one video and that's just how it is. Like let's just say the Dollar Tree video that you made got a million views and they don't watch your hair reviews. Or they don't watch your cooking videos that's just how youtube is like people pick and choose what they like to watch and what they come back to you for let's just say watching a channel that's solely based on hair then they start vlogging nine times out of ten i'm not gonna watch their vlogs because i really don't i'm not there for that i'm there for the hair content basically so it's really hard when you are a niche channel um to branch out depending on it's really trial and error you just have to put the videos out there your subscribers like if they don't like that video i wouldn't do it anymore but if they do and you get good feedback, make that a repeat on your channel so that you can keep growing and keep bringing in other people, different sources, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, like I said, you're gonna have some unloyal subs and that's just what it is. I don't care if you're a, a channel with a million or a channel with a hundred, like that's just how it is. Not everybody faces that. Like I said, some people have a large fan base that no matter what comes back to them. Doesn't matter how long of a break they take, they still come back. Expect like that um, as your journey goes on. Like I said, it's not everybody, but it's so next up is the YouTube requirements. So when I first started YouTube years and years and years ago, like I said, I wasn't serious about it. I would post every three months. I didn't become serious about YouTube until the pandemic when I actually had time, when I no longer work 40 hours a week plus, I did have time to start making YouTube videos full time like I'm doing right now. Before you could be 300 subscribers and let's just say you get a 25,000 view video, you're getting a little something from that. But now, if you don't have the 4,000 watch hours and you do not have the 1,000 subscribers, you're not getting anything from that. You're not getting no money, anything. So it made it harder for people that's just starting out and coming into the YouTube game because it's very difficult to get those 4,000 watch hours. It's more difficult to get the watch hours than it is to get the 1,000 subscribers. Like. I if, I, if I was you right now trying to get my watch hours and my subs, I would solely focus on getting those watch hours. Subscribers will come later, but the watch hours are hard. It took me six months and to get all those watch hours up, almost a year I would say, to get the watch hours up because it was so crazy. So just keep that in mind. A YouTube requirement is usually what most puts like a downfall on the smaller YouTubers. Like I said, it will discourage you, but only the strong will survive to become a successful channel because 
YouTube is not for the weak. And I say this all the time in my other videos. You have to definitely be disciplined. You have to want this and you have to just not be lazy. That's basically what it is. Like YouTube want to see who's willing to work, who's willing to put the time in, who's willing to just be there. It's a business at the end of the day. YouTube makes money off of you. You don't make any money, YouTube makes no money. So I guess they just want to weed out who's really going to work for them and who's not because they business at the end of the day. So unfortunately, that's just the requirements. I wish they would take those away, but I'm sure that's implemented forever at this point. Up, I want to get into editing. So editing, I despise. Filming, super easy, but when you have to sit down and edit your videos, it takes time. Doing this little video might be, I don't know, 12 minutes long. It'll take me an hour plus to edit this video if I add little special effects here and there. If I want something just cut dry, boring and stuff like that, it'll take me like 15, 20 minutes. But editing is a big hassle. So I see why the bigger channels get editors and stuff like that. But editing is the thing that people do not like. They'll have videos, you know, recorded, pre-recorded, like maybe six or seven, but the editing is just, a, oh my God, it's too much. So yeah, editing is a thing that you have to do with your video. Some people don't edit, but that just, I don't know, you need to edit because I take out everything that I mess up, any words that I mess up, people will click off your video because it's just too much rambling and too much um, messing up of words. Editing is annoying. Next up is the low pay. So when I say low pay, I put like a screenshot up of how much video, how much you get paid per video. It's like cents, it's like 19 cents, 30 cents per view to be per thousand view. So you really don't get a lot of money when it comes to YouTube. So those million, um, the videos that have like a million views, I think they make like, it depends really, but I've seen like a thousand dollars and stuff, et cetera, $900, but it's nothing like, okay, I get a million views, I get a million dollars. It doesn't work like that. It's not a dollar per view. And you don't get paid for the amount of subs that you have. You just get paid for the views and the views only count if they watch your ads. If your subs are not watching your ads, I can't stress this enough they're not watching your ads the views don't matter like you're literally not getting paid if they do not watch ads so the revenue comes from the ads no ads no revenue so that's why they want you to be monetized so once you get monetized then you get ads on your videos and if your subscribers are skipping 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 every ad you have in the video from that view you get zero so it's not all about the money but i just want you guys to know that the pay is low unless you're like a super super youtuber up there with the let's just say hundred thousand and up and you know yeah but yeah low pay expect that what i'm gonna talk about is a block so when i say video block is similar to writer's block sometimes i can literally not think of any videos lucky for me i'm always on youtube so there's always a video idea to inspire me i would highly suggest if you have video block or writer's block whatever you want to call it look on youtube find something that you can do that's gonna get you some views some traffic to your channel. that's basically a video blog <laughs> it's about staying consistent so i wrote must stay consistent or the algorithm will drop you quick so that's really true so this only really goes for people without a large fan base because if you have like i said 200,000, 100,000, and your fans are loyal it doesn't matter if you take a week off, a month off, whatever, they're gonna be there. But me, I took a week off and my my channel was gaining momentum at this point. And I got a little bit tired, I got a little bit lazy, so I took a week off. I was like, I ain't doing YouTube this week. And when I came back, the algorithm didn't know who I was. They didn't know me, they was like, who is this? Like, So I was on the wave and I just got dropped off on the island basically. So yeah, don't, don't do that. Cause if you're sitting here gaining steam, let's just say, you are at 500 and the next two weeks you end up being at 700 you take a break your channel is going to slow down the algorithm is just going to kick you out that's what i learned that's how i feel nobody has cracked the code of the algorithm very sophisticated um algorithm so it's very hard to figure it out i haven't watched not near video that has figured it out yet some some people probably do know but they're not going to tell us obviously i said you need to be consistent especially when you're trying to gain that watch out those watch hours and the subscribers gained your watch hours and you was like oh i'm gonna take a little break yeah cool do your thing because you already got your watch hours and stuff like that but i wouldn't recommend it let's just say you're doing three videos a week and you get tired just put it down to two put it down to one but just don't take a complete break i mean if you have to you have sickness and stuff like that or whatever i can't tell you what to do but i'm just saying what happened to me so yeah consistency is definitely the key. select few blow up so when i say that 
you're not gonna have overnight YouTube stardom. Like it's not gonna happen unless you get a video that gets you a high amount of numbers, like half a million views, a million views just out of nowhere, then your channel is gonna just start going crazy. So other than that, you're gonna have to really work hard for the goal you're trying to get to because there are so many people on YouTube. I'm gonna put the stats right here, how many YouTube users there are in the world. So you have a lot of competition to get famous. So you have to definitely separate yourself from the pack and make yourself stand out and be pretty unique. You don't have to be extremely interesting because somebody's gonna watch your videos, but definitely you're gonna have to be break yourself from the pack obviously just do something different if you can or just do trending stuff at first and then find your way find your niche find whatever you really like to do with youtube talk about is no views or low views so basically you could make a video 20 minutes long and end up getting five views on that put all your editing skills in there and people just are not watching it that just happens sometimes every video is not going to get a thousand uh four thousand ten thousand views that's just how it is especially if you are a frequent uploader you're not gonna get every single video is gonna be crazy so sometimes you do those bigger channels they upload one time a week because that's all we need to do that one video gets them sixty thousand a hundred thousand views because like i said their fans are loyal and the fans just have a connection with them based not the fans but their subscribers are loyal and they just have a connection with that youtuber so when you see low views do not get discouraged at all because you might have five views on this video and the next day you might have 100 views on the next video so just don't let that little stuff get to you like some movie stars all of their movies don't do well they could be the best actor of them all but some roles just don't get them the amount of recognition that they should have but not least if you're filming on a phone your storage will be done completely done my phone is pretty new my phone's a year old and my phone i had to delete stuff so much just to keep storage on my phone I had to pay for the ten dollar storage um thing i don't do that no more but i ended up having to do that so if you're going to film on a phone just know that your storage is going to be depleted all the time if you film a lot on your phone so just keep that in mind your storage will be full if you're using a phone and not a camera i have not switched to a camera as of yet because one i haven't made enough money i have but i want youtube to pay for my camera when i do get one and i don't really I only do sit down videos most of the time. I think my um, audio is pretty clear. I do have this expensive ring light right here. So it does help my iPhone. It's the iPhone, I think 12 Pro. Yeah, 12 Pro. So yeah, I'm pretty good on that. Um, so right now I won't be getting a camera. It's not needed. And I just feel like when you're a smaller YouTuber, you don't really need a camera. If you're like 200 subs, why are you buying a $100 camera? I feel like it's a waste of money, but it's up to you if you want to do that or not. But I would suggest the phone, but just know, like I said, the storage is going to be depleted so you know i delete stuff i usually delete my videos once i'm done i don't keep them on my phone because they're on youtube so there's no point in having two copies of the videos because it's all on youtube and it's fine so i'm gonna tell you guys about the dark side of youtube the truth about youtube and what i don't like about being a youtuber but like i said i am grateful for being a youtuber to do this for a while so it's like a part of me now i'm a creature of habit so being consistent is easy for me. I enjoy doing this. Some days I don't want to film. Like today I didn't want to film at all. But I was like, get up, do it, just film. Here I am. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions down below, let me know what you guys don't like about being a YouTuber. And yeah, we'll chat in the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.